All right, going on with some more stuff from Raw. Uh, we got so we talked a little bit about Backlash. We mm-hmm. talked about Roman and Joe. Uh, we get Roman on Raw, and he comes out and he wants immediately. He well, first there's a conspiracy against him. Yes. So the conspiracy leads to him getting a match in a uh, to get into Money in the Bank, which that doesn't make any sense. Triple threat. Triple threat match. Um, now do a little pedaling forward. I believe that was the main event. It was. Do a little pedaling forward. Gender comes into Kurt's office later in the night, and he's like, "Hey, I want to. I want to be in the Money in the Bank match." And yeah. He's like, "Well, he spots said, are earned here. He said, you haven't he, won anything." Well, to set it up, he said, "Roman gets every opportunity, and I haven't gotten any." Yeah. So Gender's telling the truth. Where well, Roman is convinced or trying to feed us this story that the management is conspiring against him he keeps getting ro- uh, opportunities and gender's like hey I just lost my belt but I was a champion recently I I have a pretty decent card to me um, and Kurt's like no nah, I can't give you a match dude <laughs> um, <laughs> so he puts him in a match with Chad Gable yeah which gender goes over Uh huh. so gender gets his win and that's that 50 50 booking yeah he comes back into Kurt later. Kurt says, "Uh, nah, you're still not in the match." And he oh, all yeah, gender he, wants is to be inserted into the the triple threat. Yeah, match, he wants it to be a fatal four. Which I feel like that is pretty fair. Yeah, the man already wrestled the match. If you don't want him to win, he's already at a disadvantage. But straight up, you just tell him no. Yeah. Um. So triple threat happens. It's a pretty fun match. Yeah, it's a good match. I liked it. Yeah. Uh, Finn goes over. Finn gets a win. <laughs> I finally, it. finally, a little bit coming up for Finn, but the yeah. end of the match shows they tease this whole damn time like, "Oh, great, Roman is going to win this freaking match." Oh yeah, um, it, so they're teasing it heavily. You know, they're even going through the motions like, "Okay, he's going to be out for a long time. Come in, make the big well, the, win." The, the crowd thought he was going to win it too because you could hear the crowd mm-hmm. already getting restless. You could feel that electricity. Yeah, they you could feel like they were already getting pissed off. Match ain't even over yet. It's but it's kind of getting near the end, and crowd knows it, and they see Roman getting all that offense in, and they hate it. Yeah. Um, but the end of the match shows uh, a segment where Finn is down. Yep. Sammy's going for a haluva kick. Mm-hmm. Um, Sammy turns around or whatever. Roman's charged for the spear. Jinder grabs Roman's legs so he can't make the spear. Um, I don't know exactly what he does to dispatch a Roman. I can't remember. Maybe he racks him. But um, Finn gets coup de gras for the win on Sammy. Yeah. But So Jinder cost Reigns the match because he couldn't be put in it. So now we're leading to... Uh, what's the next one? Money in the Bank? Yeah, Money in the Bank. Brock is not going to be defending that belt until SummerSlam. That's stupid, but that's a whole other story. So Roman needs something to do. So we're going to give him a hill. And yeah, when he tripped Roman, people popped for gender. Yeah. And I, you know, like... did you tweet out your, like, <laughs> newest face? Yes. Uh, I said it. Favorite. Anthony tweeted it on Smart to Death. Oh. He took my tweet. Oh, man. Uh, he, he was quoting me. We're going to get him for that. Yeah. Uh, he did at least uh, attribute it to us. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it was nice of him. But Jinder got a huge pop for screwing over Roman. Oh, yeah. And and I th- I think the line of logic here is like, well, Jinder is a heel. People boo him all the time. If we put him in there with Roman, they're going to boo him and cheer Roman. They need to quit trying They to- need to stop thinking like that because Jinder is a... He, his ceiling just raised. <laughs> it just got higher. People are going to be behind gender like crazy for this match. Here's, I mean, you know what I would do? I would stick Roman with Lashley, and I would have Lashley beat him, and then have Roman turn heel. Because yeah. then finally, everyone yeah, will they're be gonna so have, happy. For sure, at Money in the Bank, they're having Roman go over gender. There's no chance of gender winning that match. I don't think. I don't know. I think I think it could be an okay match. Roman can put on a good match. Gender has been doing pretty good work. Yeah. People are bringing him a good match but out of him. I know. Does it? Do people have problems with the way Roman works, or just the way he's pushed? It's the way he's pushed. People, I don't think anybody. I mean, I think to some a, people, you know, there are fans and stuff out there. They're just going to argue anything about Roman. 
I know. And but and But he is a good worker. He can put on good matches. Yeah, and I don't want to say he doesn't have like enough charisma or something because he does get reaction. So people yeah. care. So well, he's sometimes good enough. It's, it's not people who care because it's Roman. It's care they care because they're getting burned. They feel like they're just getting Yeah. It's just this is cheap. It has less to do with Roman than that. But also in another light to you know, to play devil's advocate towards Roman. Roman gets so many good opportunities on the mic and on the crowd and a lot of them are in in a match and he completely underperforms sometimes. Yeah, he does. That's when his career, his lack of yes. promo skills and possible he argument needs to can be, be performing made. at top level every single time, putting everything he's got in there every single time he goes out. Yeah, I think And he, he doesn't. I all think the he's time. one of those people that just Maybe would he's, be a yeah, better like, heel than he is a face. Yeah. Some people can't do both. Some people can only do face or only do heel. I feel like he's one of those people that can really just, I bet you he can heal it up. Yeah. I could see him being a great heel. Yeah. People already hate him. and like, all Yeah, he he's is, already there. He doesn't have to do much. Mm-hmm. I mean, he doesn't have to do, he really doesn't have to do anything. Just show yep. up and wrestle and win. And as long as he's wrestling as a heel, does some dirty shit people he doesn't even have to do dirty shit just talk crap to people yeah just talk shit yeah let's ditch the but, swat gear but gender and roman at payback or sorry money in the bank i don't know why i keep well that's that what it seems wrong. like they're leading to i'm pretty sure that's what it's going to that's the that's yeah. roman's going over but gender's going to get cheered big time and i don't think vince is going to like that either because vince apparently doesn't get it uh, apparently not jesus christ is there anybody? I wonder. And I would like is, to credit Vince is a smart dude. But. Is everybody so scared of Vince? They're just like, dude. I want to tell him this. His ideas are terrible for. Me, <laughs> he's probably just really old and crotchety. He's like, you're fired. You're gonna like what I want. I've been doing this for 482 years. Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, but we'll see what happens. You guys, let us know where you think all this stuff is leading to. If it does lead to a match at at uh money in the bank between Roman and Gender. Do you think Gender's gonna get cheered or do you think it's gonna work in WWE's favor and Roman's gonna get cheered? Let us know in the comments below. <laughs>